Alrighty, here it is everybody. The brand new Black Ops 4 trailer just dropped for Black Ops 4 Zombies. I actually have no idea what it is. I saw the first one second and I saw a freaking tiger. So I think this is going to be good. I think this is going to be really, really fun. Uh, I'm not going to waste much more time. Without further ado, let's take a look at the trailer itself. Let's let's watch it. Let's, let's react to it. And then let's go back through and kind of do a preliminary breakdown of kind of the different things that we see. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a look at Black Ops 4's brand new trailer. See my father in 15 years. Titanic, Why am I not surprised his obsessions are still getting me in trouble? As a kid, I believed my father's stories. As an adult, I believed his stories were fantasies. Scarlet, we all owe your father a great debt. We will do whatever it takes to get him back. This is magic. Dark magic. So, Monsieur oh. Shaw, do you have an explanation for the horrors unfolding around us? Hmm? These symbols, this vessel, it's all connected. I stared into the abyss, and the abyss gave me a gun. I think I'm in love. <laughs> We're getting so much so early. We're getting so much. Use the staff now. Looks like a. That, was that where a mid map change? It's not a matter of where, Diego. But when? Time travel. Great. Let's find something to shoot. Uh, <laughs> guns confirmed at night. New weapon. That's the end. Holy what? Okay, dude. Oh, I have chills, man. I have chills. Literally, I haven't felt this kind of way about a zombies like trailer, and basically since Revelations came out. That that's how long it's been since I've felt this excited, dude. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna turn down the volume just a little bit of this so we can talk about it a little bit more, and let's go ahead and get started. Actually, I'm gonna turn it way down. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with what we saw here. And I kind of, I want to pause and break it down for a bunch of these. Okay, so this is the first look at like an actual functioning map we have here. So over here, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. So yeah, you guys can see my mouse. So over here, it looks like we have one of those kind of like God perk statues like that have to do with uh, like, like basically this one right here. The one that I got, I believe John got one, Milo got one. These are like the God perk statues. So mine was Odin. That one is, I forgot the name of it, but it's another its another God from a different mythology. Uh, we've got some stuff suspended over here. We've got the wall buys are like glowing, as you can see here. They're not like just the chalk anymore. They're like glowing. This looks like it has a symbol on it that you need to like open the door. And that's like how you explore the Titanic even more. Uh, so that's very, very interesting with uh with our first actual look at the map in 15 years okay so th this is a little story background she says i haven't seen my father in 15 years it sounds like all the characters know and like respect her father and they're trying to get him back what exactly that means i don't know 
Uh, but that 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 seems, dude. Look at the look at the pores in this facial animation. That's so sick. Why am I not surprised his obsessions are still getting me in trouble? Why am I not surprised his obsessions are still getting me in trouble? So these are just more pictures on the Titanic, and uh, this was looked like to be another wall by maybe right here. Looks similar, but it also looks a little bit different. So basically, her father told her stories about all the stuff that's happening on the ship and in this mode and everything. And she's uh, she's basically following in her father's footsteps, and it sounds like other characters are kind of following as well. So that's are still a little bit of background on our characters. Dude, the new the new zombie sound kid, effects sound sick. I believed my father's story. Okay, so I believe this is another. This is I I think don't, don't quote me on this. I I I should Google this, but this is an Egyptian god. I'm pretty sure, and I think it's Ra. That, like literally, literally, do not do not quote me on this at all. But I, I, I'm pretty sure this is Egyptian God, and I'm pretty sure it's Ra. Um, so it sounds like, it sounds like basically like with my statue, all the perk statues are basically going to be like a leader of like a mythology. So this is like Egyptian. This one is, uh, is Norse. And then uh, we have Greek, everything like that. So that's really cool. It's not just like a bunch of different like Norse or Greek mythology. It's like the leader of each one is like a perk statue, which is Stories. awesome. So yeah, that, that was an, that was another shot. This is the this is the statue that uh, Mr. Dog JD got. So uh, that was that was his statue As there. As an adult, I believed his stories were fantasies. Scarlet, we all owe your father a great debt. So uh, we all owe your father a great debt, and they're trying to get him back wherever he's been for the last fifteen years. We will do whatever it takes to get him back. So we've seen this, this before. Magic. Dark magic. So dark magic. We've seen this. We've seen that shot before. That this is the one that uh, like basically transforms everyone on the ship, except for who's inside the circle into a zombie. So this, I don't. This is probably just a cinematic. I think this is just cinematic. But if you look right here, the zombies have never done this before, where they like run up against the wall and like use the environment. Like you can see the one in the back, like using the wall to get around the corner faster. I think this is just cinematic. But if this is an actual like new effect this is like in game i don't think it is that would be so sick man that would actually be so cool so here's our first uh, shot of uh them actually shooting the zombies they look to i mean i mean you see a zombie swipe from behind this is obviously gameplay this is it in gameplay the zombie swipes from behind and misses her so that that's kind of like it, it shows that, that the hit system is still probably gonna be very similar to black ops 3 and everything so this i believe this is just another cinematic effect as well the, this like uppercut i'm sure there will be melee weapons i mean we see a bunch of melee weapons and then we see this so i'm pretty sure this is all just like an animated script this is not like in-game shots or no differentiate which is which this is super interesting so you have a bunch of like zombies grasping the uh grasping the wheel and like all frozen in this goo so this is definitely important um so let it go left. So these, this is like just the the steering wheel for the uh, for the vessel and how much how much uh, like steam to do. Monsieur Shaw, do you have an explanation for the horrors unfolding around us? Hmm? These symbols. Yeah. So here's here is uh, here's another one, uh, and just another another statue. This one is not uh, not Odin but Zeus. So this is just it looks like these are all just perk statues. I mean to me to me that these look like the new perk vapors and this one uh, this one is Zeus. This vessel it's all connected okay, this is all connected I mystery box the... okay so well, let's see what we have here the, this I, I i don't i don't know the weapons from the beta super well but these obviously this is the this is the mystery box we don't know exactly what's inside it but it looks to be it looks to work the exact same way which is which is like per perfect good news and the abyss gave me a gun this looks like the new wonder weapon and the I looked in the abyss, and the abyss gave me a gun. So it's like a shotgun slash sword combo. So this shotgun blast kills everything in front of her, like literally everything. It all gets decimated. Gave me a gun. And then more zombies come, and then it kills like it looks to be like the apothecary sword. Even like that's how powerful it is. It s slices it all, and then she does this cool animation where it like all slides back into place. I think I'm in love. And then Diego goes, I think I'm in love. <laughs> so we've got some dynamic map effects. That's it. that that's important to, to see here. Dynamic map map effects, maybe an Easter egg step right there. Something to keep in mind for for the Easter egg hunt when these maps come out. 
this this is like some sort of flamethrower beam type weapon setting the zombies on fire that uh, the characters is using when he goes by on the stairs. And these are just different levels. So this was the this was happening on the top level, like the outdoor, like the uh, second from the outdoor level. This is the second level, and then down here is the and then underwater fighting does return. It looks very very similar to how it does in Black Ops Three. So, the Molotov cocktail, I totally missed that the first time through. Uh, yeah, so that was a wall buy over here on the, uh, on the right wall. This is definitely, definitely a wall buy. And then, so this looks like a new type of specialty zombie for this map, maybe. Uh, it just randomly busts out of a zombie, and obviously very gross and gory. Uh, but it, it, take, it takes an attack. Uh, so th these look like the new, like, kind of, like, mid-round boss zombies, like, similar to Brutus from Mob of the Dead. Mid-round boss zombies type thing. Use the stuff. No. And we also saw those on 9. So those are probably, these are probably gonna be pretty common zombies. We also saw these on 9. And then it says, use the staff now. And this is where it gets a little fuzzy. Stuff. No. So I think this is just a cinematic effect of like transferring from like the Voyage of Despair's trailer to uh, to the Nine trailer. I think it's just a cinematic effect. It looks like the staff actually slows down zombies. So if you watch after they place the staff, these things move much slower. Here, I'll play it again. Use the staff. No. So it looks like it's almost a slow-mo field inside the staff circle. And then uh, and then it does this little effect of transporting. So this is the same staff that uh, that we see on the next trailer. But I think it's... I don't think you're going to be able to transform from map to map. I do think they are separate maps. But this is... It's just an interesting way for them to do this on the trailer. And then they show the staff one more time right there. And then uh, our characters just... It looks like they poof in. Which is, which is interesting, because it, it definitely looks like they just poof in, and, uh, so, and then the staff, like, disappears from them in the middle. So maybe there is some sort of a cross-map, like, teleport effect? I don't know. We just don't know yet. Where are we? It's not a matter of where, Diego. But when? So we see Zeus up here again. So that is, uh, that is, that is Greek. This is, this is Greek themed because we see the giant Zeus up there. That actually looks exactly like a giant perk statue. So, uh, and he, he's obviously like grasping like he would have a lightning bolt here. So basically a giant perk statue here. Time travel. Great. So time There's travel is back. Shoot. Everyone's favorite feature. So a little bit more gun shooting gameplay. This, this symbol we've seen a bunch before. I actually think it's on no it's not on my perk statue i think i've it looks like the treyarch logo almost but uh we've seen that symbol before on a few teasers and stuff like that so that symbol is probably going to be somewhat important but it seems to be a new new kind of like melee weapon like ragnarok like the ragnaroks from uh de almost where he just slams the ground and a bunch of zombies in front of him get knocked over and electrocuted and die that's from the first trailer this is new. So it looks like instead of hellhounds, it didn't look like there were any hellhounds on uh, on the first map. Definitely some hellhounds on this map. Definitely some hell hellhounds. We've obviously got the tiger. Uh, it attacks. It looks exactly to be like a hellhound. There's multiple of them. You see another one behind them. Or is that actually three? It's two or three. I can't tell if there's another one like right here. But uh, two or three of these tigers. So these are definitely the new hellhounds. This is the teaser that we got yesterday. So, that so someone is down. This guy has a pistol. So it looks like the the same down system is happening. He's down. He has a pistol. This guy's reviving him. And then the hellhounds or the hell tigers, whatever you want to call them, the hell kitties. I'm gonna call them hell kitties. Can we just go ahead and and coin that phrase right now? That these bad boys are called uh, are called hell kitties. That's only fair. That's only fair. And, uh, Definitely reviving. He's got. It looks it looks to be that. That's that's a little little bit of a throwback looking gun, but that's cool. Dude, it's double barrel as well. I didn't even notice that the first time. Pretty cool. I usually don't focus too much on the gun. So, so this part this part kind of confirms that this gladiator map nine is bigger than just the main arena. These they run in t inside what looks to be like the zoo statue like room, 
and it's bigger and I, I talked to Jason Bundell about this it's basically way bigger than than just what you see when you uh when you go to the big like gladiator arena so all these all these zombies are running looks like there's a another wall by back here so a little something to point out and then again brand new melee weapons it do it does look like melee weapons while there are guns on this map confirmed melee weapons will definitely play a part Savior is here. That's sick. it's like a little boomerang that you can throw and then also like and then this is the new boss zombie for this map but we, we i think this is gonna be like a big boss this is either gonna be like a like once every 10 rounds type boss or like the final boss this is an interesting room as well definitely not in the gladiator arena this is very interesting what we have in the middle we've got like almost what looks like to be ether up here and like 115 but I, 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 I obviously they said these two storylines are separate so i'll say it's probably not this guy can throw his axe as well so he kind of has the same attack as the that thing um and then he takes a swing to end the trailer voyage of despair and nine so overall man i am extremely extremely excited for uh for this to come out man dude i haven't been this hyped about a call of duty game in a long long time let me know what you guys think about this are you guys as hyped as i am to uh to see all this and uh what is your favorite part of the trailer there's so many good parts dude i i honestly can't choose what my favorite uh what my favorite aspect of it is so anyway thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you subscribe leave a like all that good stuff and i will see you guys whenever they release some more information about some uh some zombies dude peace out